We're watching the first black member of Italy's cabinet, Cecile Kienge. She is the country's Minister of Integration. Cecile is an eye surgeon born in the Congo. She says she's not surprised by the harassment, the abuse, and the xenophobia aimed at Africans. She faced years of racial attacks and abuse. She's been called a monkey and told she has the face of a housewife. Kenge believes that the attacks are aimed at shutting her up, something she won't do. She said the key to ending xenophobia is to build inclusive societies and amplify voices of tolerance and respect. So she sounds like an incredible woman. I can't believe that someone says that she has the face of a housewife. I don't know that's, that's an insult, yeah. but... Have, have they seen the housewives of New York or yeah. Atlanta? Or, yeah, they don't know the housewives of America. <laughs> she sounds really great. Well, this next woman is a change maker, a peace activist, and a passionate Pan-African. Her name is Sophie Kanza. She runs a foundation that raises awareness around Afrophobia and focuses on peace building and social cohesion. Sophie created a short film about the xenophobia between Africans. She's produced a documentary, Singa Bantu, We Are Human. It's an Afrophobia awareness short film. While some African countries embrace the idea of open borders with visa-free travel, Sophie's work focuses on the mental borders that remain in the minds of some Africans. And yet another great woman to watch. Oh, absolutely. I want to see that short film. <laughs> absolutely. Who do you think deserves a shout out? Use the hashtag VOA Our Voices and tell us who you think is a woman to watch. Be sure to watch Our Voices on the VOA website where you can find the world's top news stories.